Oh, holy quackamole. Oh, hello. Didn't know she were there. It's been a while, I know. I was gonna make a video on a Bosch garden grass trimmer and I sat here and I recorded this and I recorded the other box of the thing in there and um, I did this video here from this camera here and I did it from that camera there and I spent a half hour here going through all the bits and bobs and then I took the camera outside and showing how it worked, how the Bosch trimmer worked. I even had a chat on my table outside to see how things were. And you know, this camera there didn't record. I was good. 45 minutes of um, footage, that didn't happen. It said it was recording, but something must have happened and uh, it didn't record so there was no point just showing you this front footage of this camera because it was only half the picture so I didn't bother and I had to strim my grass anyway so I carried on so sorry about that video you wouldn't have known if I had told you so this was the um, instructions for that so as it happens it wasn't that good I'll give you the name of it later on but today I am looking at a Ferrex that three in one mini soldering torch. Don't know if you can see that. Have a closer look. See that? Now on the back it says ideal for electrical work, jewellery, arts and crafts. Three functions in one: soldering, hot, air blowing, and micro flame. Piezo ignition with a safety lock, adjustable wind resistant flame, complete with four specialized solder tips. Cleaning sponge and protective cover, appliance category, type of gas, pressure butane, direct pressure butane. I'm assuming it's like you'd fill it like you'd fill a lighter, cigarette lighter. This, use this appliance only in well ventilated areas. It's got a three year warranty. Which is all right, isn't it? When you think about it. And I got this from Aldi's. Aldi's, the Ferrix's uh, brand that Aldi's um, spin off. They got some good tools. I've got, actually I've got a Ferrix drill. It's uh, just behind me there. I don't know if you can see that. Yep. There's a video on that one, by the way. So if you want to do that, you can. So anyway, so we should get to it. I haven't opened it, I've never used one of these. So we're gonna have to see what the crack is and if they're any good. Now, I hear you say, well, what's the price on this? I will show you a video of the Aldi's website and the price of this. I can't figure out what it was. I think it was 12 99 that's UK pounds. So in the box, whoop. You have got a box obviously, that there, got a little user manual, people I never use the manuals but I do sometimes and I will register it, let's have a look what that guarantee does say, warranty period is three years from the date of purchase, six months for wear parts and consumables under normal proper conditions e.g. rechargeable batteries okay this tells you the parts of I don't know if you can see that can you see that the parts of it I am recording this I think I am so you can solder with this you can Use it as a hot air gun, you know, ideal for, well, you know, when you've been soldering and you want to put some heat wrap, um, heat shrink over the joints. Ideal for that too. And I think if you're into uh, like flame art, you know, where you burn wood and stuff like that, I think you can use it for that. Don't quote me on that, but yeah. Let's 
this just goes what the bits are, what bits are used, what bits are sold in mine. Anyway, if you get one, you can look through that yourself. I will put that there. So I'll turn this over. Da, 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 da. Big fix. And handy little case to keep it, to be fair. In the box, we have some solder. Uh, da, da, with flux core contains r rosin. I don't know what that is. Anyway, ideal. Right there. This is the. Um, I think this must be the for the. That's plastic. That's got to be for the um, blow, probably. This is another shield. That would. You put it on, I suppose, and I'll have a look in the instructions. This is to clean your uh, the tip. Put a little bit of water in that. So, where's the stand then? That's not the stand, no, surely. Let's take this out. And right now you've got here the solder heads. Depends what you want to use. This one here it's quite light actually so uh, safety lock have to push that down you've got the flame power there so this is where you put the gas in has it got gas I'll just click on and find out don't know what that is so I have to push that down Okay. Continuous. There's a tiny letter there, like written on the plastic. I just can't see what it says. Off and continuous. So what do you do with this then? I might actually, I might actually look at the uh, the destructions for a second. This is a protective cover. This, oh man, it's protective cover. Um. The deflector attachment this is. I think if you want to go around a pipe or something like that, I think the heat would go around and underneath. So you'd be like that, so to speak. How'd you turn it on? Safety lock, one, ignition, switch. Oh, five is continuous flame switch. Got time to read that so safety lock well i don't want to break it but everything seems like ah so how do you know if it's on or not would you hear it okay Maybe it needs gas. You'd think it'd have a gas level on it just to, so you'd know how much gas you've got in it. So how do you know it's working? Right, give me two minutes, what I'll do is I'll run to the thing and get some gas and I'll be back in two secs if I pause this. Can I pause it? Five hours later. Can you hear 
Yeah, they're planes. Right. Where was I? Am I still recording? Oh, yes, I am. Am I still recording on that? Yeah, for enough for now. I got some gas, had some spare. Let's have a look. Refill. Oh. Shit. Let's see if it works now. Safety. Ah, yeah. How do you know it's working though? Well, I'm stuck. Um, safety lock. Okay. See the spark one there. I suppose. So, what gives? Oh, holy quackamole. Right. Oh, you see that? I feel like a lightsaber. Wow. So, is that all it is? And that heat stand up like that. Okay, so if I put that back on there, put that through there, that'll hold that, and then that onto there. Bit finicky, but I suppose you get used to it. Right, put that back on there. Feels like a mini rocket. Let's have another go. Oh, I see it's not working. Not getting enough air. Doesn't make sense. Not on there. Messing nice around this quick video is gonna turn into Don't know what it's gonna turn into. I'll take that head off there for now. Put it back on there. Right, put that back in there. It's quite tight and it seems like it's Oh, I can see something now. Ah, uh, you see that? And there's heat coming out of that. And that's still. Is that the only way you've got to know that it's it's working? Can you see that light? I don't know if you can see that there. Take it off. Now nah, it's hot now. How am I supposed to touch? Oof. So there is no there is no stand with it. That's how it just sits. Which is a bit, nah, you know, finicky. Let's see if I can... Well, this is going to be boiling hot now, isn't it? I'll have to leave it cool down. You think there'd be an easier way to... Oh, wait. Hang on, I did that wrong. I'll probably cut that out. Then again, I don't know. So if I put that... So if this starts again now... Let's have a look. Yep, that's on there. So if I put that back on there. Like that. What power have I got this on? Well, it's only a little power. So if I go like that. Ah, you see that now? See how hot that is? But how are you supposed to? All oh, right, okay, wait. So if I go like this. Oh, that cuts it out. Oh, 
But how am I supposed to? Ah, yeah, that's what it is. So now you can. Let's have a look. Let's see if I can just. All right, yeah. That's all right. Let's see if I. Bit of wire here. Whoa, something's bubbling away. Mm. That turns that off. Let's have a look what else I can do. Take this off here. See if I can. Get this a bit of a. Uh, See this? Turn that onto there. Yeah, that works all right. A bit of a oh, bit of a clean for now. So I'll turn it off. It's a little bit bulky, but I'm in the shed. No electrics. And there you go, turn it off for now. There's a protective cover that goes. That must just like that, which doesn't really do much. That's not just, oh, there. Ah, push it on. So that protects it when it's hot, you can put it back in onto there, whatever you want, because it's hot. It's bulky, because I'm used to the smaller ones. I was going to show you, there was a small USB heated, um, solder iron, and I'll be honest with you, I thought it was fantastic at first. I, I USB lead, and it was seen. I bought this from the internet, it was a tenner. And you plug it into your USB and it had a very fine tip on it. And I thought that's going to be ideal for me with some micro soldering. And unfortunately, it was rubbish. It was crap. I was so disappointed. That cost me 10 quid. Now this was 12, 12.99. But this was ideal because it was handy size. USB, I've got lots of loads of USB banks. I could I powered it off my little um Yolanzi power thing. But great, but the tip, the tip, after about three goes, uh, it wouldn't clean, it wouldn't hold solder, and it wouldn't solder and so I had to throw it in the bin. I was disappointed in that, so I was gonna do a video on that, but it didn't turn out. Oh, here we go. In fact it's here. This was it. I don't know if you can see this. Premier, look at the size of that compared to that, and did the same job, but the tip just burnt out on me. And apparently, the tips for these are quite expensive. But all it was was that and that, and it was so tiny you could do anything you want, just very light and heated up very quick. I might do a video on replacing the tip for this. Because maybe that was just a one-off and just burnt itself out, but it couldn't clean or anything. Shame on that. So they got different versions with this. I'll just take that off. That's, that gets quite hot, to be fair. Wow, that is quite hot. So if I wanted to use this as a heating element, I guess you just take the. Oof, that's. that's that's still boiling hot. That's so hot. I'll have to wait. How much battery have I got left on that? Am I recording? Yes, I am. We could cool down a bit. Cool this, Dad. Where was I? Oh, yeah. So if I take this off. 
So how would I use this as a flame thing? So if I wanted to 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 uh, do I use it like that? No, too much air. So if I take that off, oh Christ, that's still hot. So would I use it like this? So if I wanted to do some burn um, art or something, I probably got a bit of wood here somewhere. What's this? This will do. So if I, so I want to do some burn art, what I'd, I'd do is like that, continuous. Oh, that went out. That's a thought. So you have to. So, okay, you got this now. Lightsaber, if you want to do some burn art. Oh, look at this. Look, can you see this? So, you like to burn, some people like to burn art and make the wood look old and distressed. Which is, it does a quite a good job. I've seen this on shells and stuff like that before, as long as you don't leave it in one place. So, a look at this. Obviously the closer you get, the more you're going to get. So, and um, turn it off. How would you turn it off? There you go. Put that there. And the shed smells like it's on fire, but hopefully it's not. So there you go, you can do some burnout as well. So if you've got something you want to make distressed or something like that, there you go. Hmm. I'll have to give it a trial. I'm not going to clear it as crap at the moment, you know, but hopefully I'll take that off. It does take a long time to cool down. So if you're thinking about doing a quick quick job and then putting it back in this box, don't let it give it time to cool down. That's what you need to do. Um we'll put that back on there. And that's it. I can, that gets quite hot too. So here's the. I'll put that back there. I'll put this heat thing back there. So there's the ends of it. Put some water in that. And there you go. This is the Ferrix 3 in 1 mini soldier. I wouldn't call it a mini. I wouldn't call it a mini, but. You can get smaller than that. Ideal for the heat, though. I mean, um, and ha very handy for shrinking and stuff like that. That shows you there what it does. So if you want the heat, just the hot air, you'll leave the end nozzle in. If you want the flame, like I showed you on that, you take that off. I would say um, read this book because you're going to be stuck otherwise. I think it all depends what you want to use this for. Obviously, it's not going it's not going to be brilliant for your everyday electronics. You know, little for little gadgets such as this little uh, motion tr uh, vibration trigger. You know, um, really small. If you had some chunky electronics on your own uh, perforated board, you'd be fine. But um, I think that's about it for this Ferrix. I don't know if you can hear people passing outside with the cars and stuff like that. After all, I'm in a shed. So the Ferrix 3-in-1 mini soldering torch. We'll see how that one goes. Um, 
it's been a while since I've actually made a video, that's the trouble. I mean, you forget how to make videos, how to talk to the camera. Um, God, crikey, when was the last one I made? It was August sometime? You know, you get you get caught up in life. Work gets in the way. Covid's got in the way this year. Um, sometimes it's just getting the motivation to do a video. But hopefully I'm getting the bug again and... Oh my God, yep, yeah, I'm... And um, you should see more videos from me. I've got a couple. I've got a couple more things I need to to um, take a look at. One or two, to be fair. I've been saving them up. Um, one is I've got this little cheap mini wireless speaker. I've got that for a project I'm doing. So you'll probably see a video on that. Or maybe you won't. Um, I've got one or two things I need to to sort out and I should be getting back to getting at least one video a week and hopefully you'll see more of me and as usual I mean if you can subscribe if you want to the YouTube algorithms enjoy interaction so if you leave a comment I will message a uh, reply to you or I'll try my best to um, and help you out if you've got any questions about the things I've just looked at I'll try my best to reply to that or if you want me to look at something else and save you a few quid. I'll look at that as well. Um, like I say, like, dislike if you like it. Let me know if I'm doing something wrong. Let me know what else you'd like to see. And uh, hopefully on to the next video. I've got a few things that my, some projects I'm gonna be doing. Some electronic projects as well. And uh, I don't know if I'll build a video of me making it or whatever I'll be doing. We'll, we'll see on that anyway. So as, for, as always for now, um, Take care and until the next time, bye.